Android 16 is finally here. And let me tell you, this might just be one of the biggest updates Google has ever released. Not only are we looking at some serious UI changes, but also brand new lock screen widgets, improved security, smarter AI, and even features that feel a little familiar if you've used iOS before. Today, I'm gonna break down everything you need to know about Android 16, codenamed Baklava, from its official release timeline to what's actually new, and of course, how you can download it right now. Release date and code name. So first, let's clear up the release cycle. Android 16 QPR2 Beta 1 just dropped, and this is the beta cycle for the December feature drop. The stable public release of Android 16 is expected later in 2025, but you can try the beta right now if your device supports it. And yes, Google gave this update a sweet code name. Baklava. What is different? Now, why is Android 16 different from the versions before it? Well, compared to Android 15, Google is focusing on three things. Customization, smarter AI integration, and next level security. Unlike past updates that were mostly minor tweaks, Android 16 feels like a complete step up. And in some areas, it even competes directly with iOS. Features. Let's jump into the new features. Lock screen widgets. Finally, we can add widgets directly to the lock screen. Swipe left and you'll get a customizable grid where you can place things like calendar, maps, or even your music controls. Yes, this is something iOS has had for a while, but Google's version is more flexible with multiple pages and hub mode that lets widgets appear while charging. Themed icons and UI. Icons now look more consistent because unsupported ones are automatically styled to match material you. There's also a landscape mode for the home screen, though be careful, it still has some bugs. Wallpaper and style. A redesigned icons page and new wallpaper effects give Android 16 a fresh look. There's even a mysterious create option for icons, which we'll probably see working in a future update. Widgets picker redesign. Cleaner layout with featured and browse tabs, smoother animations, and an overall iOS-like polish. Security and network. Under settings, you can now toggle 2G network protection for better privacy, plus new time zone change notifications and improved digital well-being menus. AI and smarts. Google is also leaning heavily into AI. Expect enhanced HDR brightness adjustments, smarter dark theme options, and better on-device intelligence baked into the system. Random tweaks. Things like 90-10 split screen, low light mode for clock, improved user switcher widget, and smoother animations across the system. Okay, let's be real. Yes, some features definitely feel inspired by iOS. Lock screen widgets and auto-styled icons, for example, but Android still pushes flexibility further, like multiple widget pages, advanced customization, and more control over how things look and feel. So it's not just copying, it's Google putting its own twist on it. So how do you get it? If you're on a Pixel device, you can already grab Android 16 QPR2 beta. Supported devices include Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, Pixel 6a, Pixel 7 and 7 Pro, Pixel 7a, Pixel Fold, and Google's partner brands like Honor, IQ, Lenovo, OnePlus, Oppo, and Realme are also rolling out their own Android 16 betas. To install, you can either join the beta program on the official Android beta site for Pixel, or visit each partner's site for downloads and OTA instructions. Just remember, each partner has its own bug reporting system, so make sure you use that if you run into issues. Performance-wise, Android 16 beta is surprisingly stable. Geekbench scores are up compared to QPR1, animations feel smooth, and thermal management is solid. So that's Android 16, QPR2, Beta 1, codenamed Baklava. A sweet mix of lock screen widgets, better customization, smarter AI, and stronger security. Honestly, this is shaping up to be the most exciting Android release in years. What do you think? Is Google finally catching up with iOS, or is this still a step ahead? 
drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you want more Android 16 deep dives, make sure to subscribe for upcoming updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.